Good morning all. I've brought this uh, Lito Carla Engineer Lee 300 battery charger across from my reviews channel. Uh, if you want to see the review, I'll put a link to it here. Um, because I think I was a bit unfair about its uh, internal resistance check. It's got this really neat feature where it checks the internal resistance of a cell. So let's put a cell in. Uh, it's positive to the front do this internal resistance check so milli r 95 then it uh, lets you select the current before charging and then it goes off and charges now that 95 milliohms is stored in here i don't think it updates it just does that test once but 95 milliohms for this cell well then i did a few other cells and something rather interesting happened I put an ultra fire cell, one of these very cheap cells that you can get on eBay in here. And perhaps not surprisingly, it came up as 125 milliohms. Uh, then an eBay cheapy. Now this is a protected cell. You can see the strip running down the side and that's come up as 124 milliohms. Uh, this through night cell has come up as, uh, where is it? 109 milliohms. Now when I did the uh, this quick check on my review, that also came up as 125 milliohms. Let's try another one of these through night cells. So this is a slightly different branded uh, through night cell, 3400 milliamp hours. This is coming up as also 125 milliohms. And I, I know that these through night cells are good quality. They're Panasonic NCR 18650Bs. So I started to suspect the uh, internal resistance checker on this charger because everything I threw at it, including these good quality cells, came up at or around 125 milliohms. But I missed something. This eFest cell, which I bought on eBay, it was from a UK seller, but it was specifically sold as being high current. I think it was sold for... Um, vaping equipment that sort of thing it's not got a particularly high capacity 2250 and it's lithium manganese rather than lithium ion whatever that means but the milliohms measurement by this device the internal resistance is 26 milliohms so this cell really is giving a low resistance result so now, because I'm getting this low resistance uh, reading I'm more inclined to trust this Litokala charger in that it is doing its internal resistance check properly but then why do these through night cells which i know are good quality why do they come up with such a high internal resistance and i think i've worked it out it's because these are protected cells so at the end of the cell there's a little circuit board with a, a controller of some sort and a mosfet which switches off the connection between the negative end of the cell and the actual negative plate, uh, that's positive actually, the negative plate, uh, based on certain things like um, over voltage, under voltage, and possibly also over current. Let's have a look at this on Through Night's website. So here's the cell on Through Night's website. Now it does say it has built in overcharge and over discharge protection, but it doesn't say it has over current protection. And in fact, down here it says do not short circuit. So perhaps these things don't have overcurrent protection. What I was thinking was if they did, there would have to be some sort of current measurement circuit, which would be a resistor. And that, of course, would add to the apparent internal resistance of the cell. So I've done an image search for lithium cell protection. And I'm kind of getting this sort of standard thing. We've got the lithium cell here, uh, a control chip and two MOSFETs. Uh, now, is one a P channel and one an N channel? No, they're both N channel. Uh, there's another one down here that has the two MOSFETs, but it also has a, a poly switch fuse here, which could add to the internal resistance. But I can't see many circuits, or any circuits actually, that have a resistor for measuring overcurrent in order to do overcurrent protection for the cell. So maybe that's not a common thing. So this protected cell, giving this high internal resistance value of 125 milliohms, or it might even be more, it does look like this Litokala limits at 125 milliohms, because I've never seen a figure higher than that. Is this simply the internal resistance, or sorry, the on resistance of the two MOSFETs that are in the little protection uh, circuit board, probably at that end, actually the negative end, 
Um, or is that protection board somehow confusing this charger when it does its internal resistance check and causing this high value? Now you can get this thing to do internal re resistance checks uh, continually by simply disconnecting the cell, reconnecting it, and it does the internal resistance check. So 125, 125, 125. So it's consistently coming up at 125 milliohms. Let's go back to the unprotected cell, this EFEST lithium manganese one. I'll do a few checks on that. 26, 31, 26. I'm trying to establish also what the resolution of this check is. 26 and 31. I mean, does it only go in 4 milliohm steps, possibly? It's difficult to say, but certainly this device is able to recognize that this cell has a very low internal resistance, whereas the protected one has a much higher one. So I think I owe it to, well, Lito Gala or um, whoever makes this thing to update my review because certainly this thing seems to be able to do um, quite respectable internal resistance checks. I just think I got caught out by these protected cells. Uh, this eBay protected cell also read high. And of course, the ultrafires, these fakes, are going to read high because they probably do have a very high internal resistance. But uh, yes, I think I do need to update my review of this charger. And uh, just in case, like me, you're wondering what Lito Carla means, well, if I type in L-I-I-T-O, it detects that this is a Finnish word uh, meaning glide. And if I add Carla, then it's uh, also a Finnish word meaning flying fish. And uh, just for fun, I thought I'd see if I could try and get this ultra fire cell to read less than 125 milliohms. And no, it seems to be pretty consistently reading a high internal resistance because these uh, fake eBay cheapies are really dreadful. Cheerio.